Hey guys, it's Chris. From super yachts with lasers to avoid paparazzi to boats made of gold. Join me as I show you 10 boats that only the richest can afford. Number 10, Seven Seas. The Seven Seas is a super yacht and was custom made by Nouveau Lari and Leonard to be a true beauty of the ocean. This super yacht is over 280 feet long and weighs nearly 3,000 tons. Not only is the ship big, it's fast for its size. It can reach a top speed of 20 knots and likes to cruise at around 15 knots. In terms of how many it can hold, the crew of the entire ship comes in at around 23 people. But then, it can also hold up to 14 guests via its seven massive cabins. However, should you want to try and rent this ship, you can't. Not for you. Its owners do not allow private charters of the ship. A boo! Owners of the ship have also made sure that the Seven Seas is kept up to snuff in terms of readiness. In 2016, it was refitted and readjusted to make sure it's at peak levels. All told, the Seven Seas cost $200 million to make. Wowza. I wouldn't want to rent that one out either. Keep your dirty paws off my real expensive boat. Number 9. Lady Morda Owned by Nasser al-Rashid of Saudi Arabia, the Lady Morda is a $210 million yacht that was constructed in 1990. The owner wanted to be sure that his yacht stood out, so he had the name of the boat etched in its side in 24 karat gold letters. The craft itself is 344 feet long and has many fun features for those who are aboard it, including a pool with a retractable roof to let the sun in, a helicopter to go on little excursions from the craft, and a dining room with a 75-foot table to ensure that all the guests are seated together. But many agree that the most elegant feature on the boat is the retractable oasis that can form out of the side of the boat. This extension sits low enough that you can reach the waters below and has real sand and beach chairs to make you think you're on a beach or island even though you're on the boat on the ocean. Number 8. Polaris Polaris is actually derived from the Greek word for vast, which is an apt description of the $300 million super yacht owned by a billionaire from Hong Kong. At 115 feet long, it's a big yacht, and all told is 5,517 tons, proving that she can carry a big weight while not hurting her performance in the water, which is proven by her two massive engines that allow the yacht to get up to 19 yachts in the water. The yacht is equipped with many vehicles for fun and passage, including helicopters, mini boats, and even jet skis. The craft itself was actually built in 2003 in Germany and has had a few owners before the chairman of Prudential Enterprises got his hands on it, including a man from Russia and Saudi Arabia. This ship is on the water almost all the time and actually employs 48 people to service and work it year round. And now for number seven. But first, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 7. Radiant Coming in at a whopping $320 million to build, the Radiant was built by Lurson in 2009. The craft is 110 feet long, weighs over 5,000 gross tons, can reach a top speed of 21 knots, and is owned by Emirate millionaire Abdullah al Futaim. The Radiant is known for many things, but one of its most important features is its gas tank, which can hold 96,000 gallons of fuel, enabling it to go out to sea or ocean and not have to worry about fill-up for a very long time. In terms of passenger capacity, the Radiant holds 20 guests and 44 crew members. The ship is outfitted with swimming pools, a beach club, and even a helicopter pad. On the inside, you'll find a movie theater, a gym, and even a garage. It also has defense capabilities, including a water cannon to prevent pirates from boarding her, because modern pirates are freaking scary as all get out, guys. Number 6. Topaz Built by Lurson Yachts in 2012, the Topaz is a $527 million yacht and one that is 482 feet long. With a max speed of 22 knots, the Topaz can cut through the water pretty well. For those who are eager to experience what the Topaz has to offer, the super yacht comes with eight decks that will allow you to see the world you're traveling in from numerous directions. There are also built-in swimming pools and a massive jacuzzi awaiting you. Furthermore, there's a theater, a gymnasium, and even a conference room, you know, should you need to conduct some business before going out to have some fun. 
At night, the ship lights up the waters, giving you something very, very special to look at. This yacht is owned by none other than the Deputy Prime Minister of United Arab Emirates. Number 5. Azam In terms of complexity and design, the Azam is without a doubt the most ambitious and technically difficult yacht ever made. The yacht is nearly 600 feet long and is capable of going 15 miles per hour in the water. What might be the most strange thing about the Azam is that no one really knows who the owner is. The rumor is that the craft is owned by a family from the United Arab Emirates, but that's not confirmed. If you know who owns it, let us know in the comments below. Multiple designers came together to help make the craft what it is now, which was part of the problem in the construction process. Yet it's a very capable craft and is able to traverse both deep and shallow waters without much issue. The Azam cost $600 million to make. Jeez. Number 4. Streets of Monaco When you're rich, you may want a boat that just does what you want. But for others, they want one to be designed to look like nothing else on the market, which is exactly what the yacht known as the Streets of Monaco is. This massive 500-foot yacht is in deployment right now by Yacht Island Designs, and it's meant to be a ship that is literally a snapshot of the island of Monaco. As you'll see in the designs, there are many classic landmarks of the island crafted right into the boat itself, such as the Monte Carlo Casino and the legendary Grand Prix course. There are also swimming pools, helipads, and more on the outside. And the inside is, well, extravagant, such as the Oasis. The Oasis acts as the main boarding point for the yacht and is an expensive area modeled on the gardens just outside the Monaco Casino. In the words of the promotional website, on entering the Oasis, attention is immediately drawn to the central waterfall feature, consisting of upper-level pools cascading down on the lower pool and jacuzzi. Radiating from the pool are numerous shrub-lined pathways and secluded seating areas. Located forward on the lower level is the spa, with manicure and hair salon, private massage suites, sauna and steam rooms, and a large relaxation lounge featuring a spa pool with bar. Though the yacht is still being built, the cost of the yacht is well known. It's going to cost $1 billion to buy. But those who do get it will be able to take themselves and about 16 guests on an adventure they'll never forget. Number 3. Eclipse the Eclipse is the official second largest yacht in the world as of today. Roman Abramovich is the owner of the craft, and this Russian billionaire and owner of the Chelsea soccer team spared no expense to make sure that the Eclipse was a valuable ship in more ways than one. Just the cost of the ship is $1.5 billion. That's billion with a B. Some of the features of this billion-dollar craft include two helipads, 24 guest cabins, a disco hall, two swimming pools, and hot tubs. This is all something many passengers will surely enjoy. Safety was another thing that Abramovich wanted on his yacht. And so he made sure that the Eclipse had not only a state-of-the-art intruder detection system, this yacht also has a missile detection system. Some of the master suite bedrooms have bulletproof walls and windows too making it sort of a panic room in a pinch, I guess. And should the worst come to pass, there's an escape submarine that can be used to get away from the craft. Finally, for any celebrities on board, they won't have to fear getting their picture taken, for a laser grid actually protects the guests in a kind of shield pattern that makes taking a picture near impossible. That's so cool. Number 2. The History Supreme there are a lot of yachts out in the world, but few of them can say that they're comprised of solid gold. The History Supreme is one that can honestly say that, and as if to prove it, it has a price tag to match such a claim. Coming in at $4.8 billion, the History Supreme is indeed the most expensive yacht in the world, or really ever made. The yacht itself is 100 feet long, and it took over three years to make it. Over 22,000 pounds of gold and platinum were used to make the yacht. As for where you can find the gold, it's in the hull of the boat. And you'll also find it in the dining room area, the staircase, and it's even comprised the anchor of the yacht. Furthermore, in the master suite, there is an aquarium that is adorned with gold. This yacht was made to be rich and elegant in every sense of the words, including having a statue in the boat made of T-Rex bones, a liquor bottle with a massive diamond, and more. Number 1. USS Gerald Ford There are a lot of ships in the world today that are owned by various countries, but the truly expensive ones can only be afforded by countries willing to spend billions of dollars, such as the United States with their supercarriers. 
The biggest and most expensive example of this is the USS Gerald Ford, named after the late president. The Gerald Ford is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and is indeed the most expensive warship in the history of the country. All told, its cost came in at just over $13 billion from start to finish, and extra time for additional repairs and tweaks to the craft. Aircraft carriers play a vital part in the defense of not only the United States, but the world. They can house planes of many types, making them able for first strike capabilities or providing defense and aid to those under attack. These super carriers are much larger than standard aircraft carriers and have all sorts of unique features. The new carrier features a host of new and untested technology, including the ship's two main turbine generators, a new dual-band radar system, advanced weapons elevators, and a new advanced arresting gear on the flight deck. Though construction of the Gerald Ford is seemingly complete, it's going through many trials to make sure that it's worthy of not just being on the ocean, but also ready for potential combat. It's scheduled to go into the battle zone in 2020 or 2021. Well, thanks for watching. Can you believe how crazy expensive some of these boats are? Which one would you like to own? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.